Okay, hello and welcome back to Heroes 3. Uh, this is actually a pretty rare thing, which is a turn where I'm actually looking forward to scouting. We're very much back on the front foot, we're no longer being as defensive. And pretty much all of our heroes have interesting places to be going. But I think we will kick things off with this battle against Adelaide. Let's go for visions. So Adelaide has 6 gold dragons, 87 grand elves, 28 uh, dendroids. She's pretty strong, but because we... Because she has put herself right next to a well, um, we can just get our spell points back and we're in a very good position. Also interesting to note, she is actually currently digging for the Grail. If we check the obelisk, we can see it's in this part of the map and we can see she's just been digging right next to that. So definitely an interesting part of the map to try and stake our claim on. We're going to go for our spell points and even though we are weaker in terms of army, we do have the Elixir of Life. Uh, which does mean that our Rust Dragons have 941 hit points instead of 750. So, in a very strong position, let's just go for this. So, game thinks we're going to lose, but of course it's not taking spells into account. Uh, I think... I think we go for slow. The Gold Dragons can still reach us, but I think that does make sense. She has 175 spell points, and she does have pretty good stats, but not really on the same level as us. So we will regenerate 50 hit points per turn, I think it's 50. Uh, which is not really enough to sustain ourselves, so we're going to stay back. She goes for blind. Kills off our genies, which is kind of annoying, but not unexpected. Okay, do we go for this attack? We'll get one kill. Uh, we will be hit back. I think we do, because we probably do end up resurrecting at some point anyway. We actually don't take a loss to that, but we do take a couple of losses to the Grand Elves. Uh... Rust Dragons seem to disappear for a minute there, I got a bit scared, but it's just a just a glitch, I guess. Okay, so, can these guys cure? They can. I think this is worth a go. Frenzy, that's not really what we need. Okay, we're going to send the Angels, I think, just to attack these, since it is going to be safe from the retaliation. We do kill one off, we get another, we get another move, which means we can go for the Elves if we want to, but no, I think we just stay aggressive against these. Okay, so she blinds those two, she kills those off. Okay, that's not great, but I think we play it safe for now, we just kind of stay back. We can pretty safely stay out of range of everything except the, uh, the Silver Pegasi, and I don't think we'll take a loss to those, so let's go for this. And let's try and get this back. Protection from water. So yeah, this is pretty bad in terms of the number of resurrections we need to go for. I could go for Earth Elementals, which... Maybe would make sense, but at the same time, I think we're probably fine without them. So we can go across and attack the gold dragons. These guys have been hasted, so they can reach us pretty soon. I think... I think we just go for these. I don't really mind too much, the blind. Just gonna save our spell points. Okay, she goes for Bless. So, next round begins. So we do have Master Spell, I forgot of course we are... I forgot of course we do have the Expert Water Magic, which is extremely good. So, Master Spell is an option, we actually don't have Cure. Which is kind of surprising. If we were to go for Master Spell, I think it does remove, let's check. So it removes all spells from all units on the battlefield, so it would remove the slow, which is not really what we want. Yeah, I think... I think we go for Resurrection, just on this stack. And I think we go for this attack. So the Grand Elves are going to do a lot of damage to us, but they do finally decide to break us out of our blind, so that's nice. Let's just go up to the corner. Okay, so they go for the attack on that stack, which does do, I'm sure, plenty of damage. Didn't actually see how much. We will get 50 hit points back. So yeah, 601 hit points to go, that seems fine. Let's go for this attack. Then let's go for... Maybe now's the time for the spell. But no, the slow's still helping us quite a lot. So let's just go for... Let's go for shield. Ah, 
Oh, of course, Rust Dragons have the Breath Attack. I got them mixed up with Crystal Dragons. So we do Friendly Fire, but... We already know our Rust Dragons are pretty weak. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so they're still hanging on for now. These guys don't actually break us out of our blind. These have 61 hit points to go. I think if we go for this, that's probably fine. Then these guys get their move once again. We're going to go for Resurrection on this stack. Then I think we go for this. Do you get morale so we can finish them off? These shouldn't be able to reach us. Okay, so they kill off the Rust Dragon. Unicorns can't reach us. Okay, let's bring this back. Then these guys are slowed and they can't reach us if we go for this attack. Okay, goes for Frost Ring. I'm gonna have to go for another Resurrection just there. I should really just be going for Earth Elementals in a fight like this, but we don't really need to. Okay, let's go for these next. So, 203 spell points to go. If we just go for Resurrection again, we've still got quite a few of those left. Then we go for attack. She goes for Lightning Bolt, which does 360 damage, which is pretty nasty, but... ...do survive for now. Get blinded. Yeah, I feel like there's not much point bringing back the, the Genies, because... ...Dendroids might just try and chase them down, although... Could be okay. Yeah, not too much can reach them. So she does have some kind of resistance or uh, interference, which has dropped our spell points to uh, spell power to 16. I think that's fine. We're going to bring these back. I think it will actually be okay. Let me kill these off. These guys go to safety. Okay, so she bolts those again, she kills them off. These guys are free to attack, but they're not strong enough to do any damage. Everyone is just going to try and chase us down, and this could be kind of hard to avoid. Let's see. So we should be safe if we go to the side. Pretty tempted to go for the Dispel, but again... Don't think we need to, and I think the slow is pretty useful. Okay, let's go to the corner. Okay, she goes for haste on those. They're going to kill off the genies for sure. Now they do actually go back for the dragons. That's great. Luck on the centaurs causes over 300 points of damage. That's not good for us, but we are free to go for... No, we're not. We're stuck in place. So no breath attack available to us. I think we resurrect these. Okay, so these things have come back. Dendroids can reach us. 461 hit points to go. I think we're pretty close to the point where we should go for the attack against the centaurs, but let's go for these for now. Try and cure these. Okay, centaurs seem to be coming for the genies. Now they can't reach us. I think we should be good to bring another one back. And let's go to the corner. Okay, we get anti-magic. She goes for dispel. She does get rid of the anti-magic, but we've effectively not taken any losses, I'm pretty sure, apart from the genie, of course. These guys, 470 hit points. I think we don't go for the attack this round because the centaurs... Hmm. No, actually, I think we do. Centaurs can reach our angels. So we go for this attack. We do survive the retail. They go for the 
Angels, angels do survive. Let's just go finish this thing off. And let's have a look. So we've got all of our Nicks. We can bring back one of these, which we should. These guys have 414 hit points to go, so we should be pretty safe to go for this. Then we go for this. And we're going to try and buff these. Okay, we actually survived the attack from the centaurs, kind of surprised. Let's have a look. 375 hit points, that seems fine. So of course we can get all of our spell points back, and she has no units left, so we actually take all of her artifacts. So she's got the Golden Bow, Lady Bird of Luck, which doesn't really help us of course. Ring of the Wayfarer is pretty good, but it does mean we have to disequip the... unequip the um, Elixir of Life. Charm of Eclipse is pretty good. Shackles of War, that's why she didn't run. Okay, now let's go to this. Get our spell points back, and I think we go for this too, perhaps? Let's have a look. Yeah, we need a lot of experience, so I think we go for this. 2,000 gold, let's just say yes, plus one knowledge. And there's a Fountain of Youth just there. Okay, so that's the big fight done. We're now free to do some exploring, so let's go to Corks first. As yeah, Tan could have landed if they wanted to in the previous episode, but chose not to for some reason. So there's a Hydra upon there. There is a prison just there, which could be pretty good. Also a Tome of Water Magic. But I think... Galtharan is good here for now. Fight with Dendroid Soldiers should be pretty easy, thanks to the Vampires. No losses expected, let's go for Expert Logistics. Let's just double check this. Yeah, it's very much where we just were. Okay, so where to go next? I'm pretty curious what's to the north, but also to the east there is quite a few. Uh, there are quite a few things we can do. So the prison, of course, Tome of Water Magic, Hydra Pond. There's quite a lot there, but... but... Let's go in this direction for now. Should be able to do this with no losses. Okay, we grab the crystals. And that's all our moving points gone. Soul Mirror I'm a bit undecided about, so we're not going to go to him just yet. Uh, Rion, I think, we're just going to put in the ship. And let's spread his units out. Then Torosa, I think, is going to get in the ship, because there's not currently anyone around to attack us. Then Coronius is actually going to go into the blue portal. And I'm just going to see where this goes. So I do want to go for the Shipwreck Survivor, but first, just going to explore this stuff. So Frozen Cliff's just there. That's going to be amazing. If we can give Eovacius an Azure Dragon. So the Elixir of Life, let's have a look. 25% bonus to health. So they're going to have 1,250 health. Regenerate 50 hit points each turn. That's going to be incredibly good. But for now... Let's just see where else it goes. So there's the Temple of the Sea just there, which is kind of the centerpiece of the map, I think. That seems to be it. Yeah. Now there's a few more. I'm not sure why it took so long. Yeah, still finding places. So this is the town we could potentially attack. That might be where Solma goes. Because Solma is not too far off. Yeah, you can see he's right there, one or two turns away. Okay, let's pick this stuff up. So there is a hero in there, let's have a look. So it's Dima. Dima's pretty good, does have some enchanters, but should still be pretty beatable. We probably should get some slightly stronger units. So upgraded Dragon Cliffs, I do want to wait till day one of next week so that we can actually use the treasury a bit more. So in the meantime, we can go to this. Get lots of spell points and start moving back in this direction. Uh, Adela, this is a little bit risky because I think there is a monolith just there. In fact, I can clearly see there is. But even so, 
There's no point trying to defend. I think we just go to the south instead. So we're going to go for this. We'll go for expert pathfinding since we are based in the swamp. Does make sense. We will take this. I'm not going to pay for them though. Get some extra knowledge. And we're just going to try and claim as much as we can as we loop around. Okay, so we've got 23,000 we can spend. This town is safe for now. So we're going to keep upgrading this. So let's go for Wyvern Nest. Back to this, I think upgraded Tower of the Seas could be done at literally any time. Uh, this base is... It's the one with Cassiopeia. So we're going to go for Monastery. So if we go for the Monastery, we can then go for the Portal of Glory next turn, which is quite expensive, but might be worth doing for the sake of extra angels, of course. Then in this town, I think we just go for Griffin Bastion, just to try and get the numbers up. This town will go for upgraded Centaur Stables. And this town, I think, we will just leave B. Okay, so that's a very productive turn, and I think everything seems to be going away for now, so let's see what can go wrong. That's the first thing. Okay, so it's Steig. Steig doesn't actually have that much. But, I have nothing to kill the dragon with. Okay, so we survived the lightning bolt. We've still got at least one more round, I think. No, we haven't. Okay, we need to run. So we'll hang on to the first day tent if we want to. Uh, Red actually does come for this attack now, and I got a bit overconfident because I thought the fact that they hadn't attacked me before meant they didn't want to. I feel like this could be done, but only if he has really bad spell casting, but he does have 65 spell points. 5 spell power doesn't seem likely to work out. So we'll put a strong stack at the bottom. And we'll put a one stack near the top. And we're just going to have to hope for the best. Maybe this instead. Let's try this. So yeah, so many gogs there I don't think we really stand a chance. Try going for Magic Arrow. It's not going to be enough. Yeah, one kill from that. He doesn't have Ballistics, which is one good thing, but yeah, he's got damaging spells, he's got good morale. Okay, we're going to lose Cassiopeia. No way this works out. Perhaps I shouldn't have gone for the monastery. Okay, we're gonna have to come take the space back. So after a very good turn, we're immediately faced with a couple of setbacks. Do have a way through. Okay, so they can reach us, there's nothing we can do. Could have maybe gone for like one more magic arrow, but yeah, that didn't go too well. And they're now going to claim all our stuff. And it looks like they have Town Portal too, so they're starting to flood the zone. Yeah, that's not looking too good. Tan also lands. I hope that's not who I think it is. So many Tan heroes. And they're all coming to attack us. Okay, so after a really good turn, we're now faced with... a pretty horrible situation, and there's Purple here too. He's somehow broken through. So... Just when we thought it was going well, we now have Ingham to deal with. 
and there's absolutely no chance we keep this safe. So what can we do instead? Eovasius, if we can find a town portal it might be okay. I don't know why Jagar's come through. I guess he's still digging. But of course it's not very safe for him to do that. I wish I could find a town portal but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, let's go to Adela for now and let's go to this. Okay, Crown of Dragon Tooth, that's not bad. Plus four to knowledge and spell power, so we want to try and hang on to that. But this is not a safe zone anymore. Uh, so Solmere probably has to try and stay safe from all this stuff. But yeah, not really too much we can do. This is Arlac, who we could probably defend from, and Kyr I think we could too. Let's go through this. And let's just try and get to safety. So that's Orin. So Orin has come back. I'm hoping we can take his stuff. Because he is of course a very good hero. He must still have some pretty good artifacts. Goes to the Seer's Hut as well. Okay, let's see what we can do. So, 8 to 17 kills, that's not really enough. So they can cross, they can pretty much attack any stack they like, but... Actually, I think it does make sense, let's go for slow. He does just flee. Okay, that's annoying, but never mind. Level 15 will be rewarded, there's someone right there, and I'm guessing it's gonna be the main. Yeah, Sylvia, she's pretty strong. We do have visions. One crystal dragon, we could beat this. Let's just do it. So victory is expected, I'm hoping we can do slightly better than that. She, I think, isn't quite as good in terms of stats. Rushes forward to take on the Liches, which is fine. I do want to cross, but the, the Dwarves, of course, are a big problem. I think Mass Flow could be good. Let's go for that for now. Then let's wait. Okay, those come forward. We've still got 300 of these to go. Shouldn't really put ourselves in range. Okay, so the archers actually go for the vampires, which is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna absorb the retail with these. Oh, okay, she has the Ring of Oblivion. So we don't get them back. We can't get anything back. Can we still animate dead? I'm not actually sure how that works. We definitely go for this attack. I think we just send these straight in. Okay, we drain life, but no, we don't come back. We don't get our units back. This is pretty much the worst case scenario for the vampires. Probably shouldn't have rushed forward in that case. We can still move back though. But yeah, I think we need to kill these off. Those liches are permanently lost, which of course is not a nice situation. Hmm. Definitely have to move away. So next act to move is the crystal dragons. Not really too much we can do. Then the vampires move next. Let's just go for these. So crystal dragons kill off a ghost dragon. These guys just have to get away. We can't really stop the war unicorns getting through to the dread knights unless we move with those two. I think we probably have to. Okay, Rakanta's cloak as well. She must have taken it off Orin for some reason. So Magic Arrow, 150 points of damage. I think Shield for 30% damage resistance. Probably has to be done. 
So these guys can't actually reach the ghost dragons. I think it does make sense to not attack. Please go for these. Then we wait. Go for this attack. They can reach the skeletons, they do tons of damage. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to animate dead, which made this a much easier choice. Send them forward. So these move next, these can reach us as much as I'd like to stay in attack. We don't want to get hit by nine unicorns. Okay, she slows those. These can't reach us. Do we go for this attack? Let's go for it. Five race lost. Okay, so next round begins. We can start by waiting if we want to. These do move next. We won't be able to kill them off. They have got 500 hit points left to go. Death ripple, 90 points of damage. That's not bad. I'm not really seeing too many other choices. Stone skin could be good. Plus six defense. I do just want to preserve my units. So 168 hit points on these. I think we just go for it. Okay, she hastes those, that's pretty bad. So these things can reach our skeletons, they do move first, I think we want to block them off. Dwarves can attack pretty much whoever they like. On the other hand, this is the stack that should take retaliations, or should attack stacks we don't want to be retaliated against. So I feel like we kind of have to go for the dwarves. Okay, they go for the Wraith. Wraiths are now going to go for the block on these. So, still can't kill those off. 3 to 5 kills on the War Unicorns. 20 to 39 kills on the Dwarves. Let's just go for the Unicorns. Do kill them off. Now we send these in. Okay, next round begins. 26 hit points on the Ghost Dragons. Can't stay safe from the Dwarves. We could put the Vampires kind of in the way, but... Don't think that's going to work, although if we go for this, that might be fine. I'm going to try and keep them safe. Vampires have to go for these. Should have gone for a spell there. Okay, so many losses taken. Let's just wait. Okay, so what to go for next? We're kind of running out of choices. I think maybe another slow could be good. Yeah, I think slow is better than death ripple. So these are down to 3 speed, these are 4 speed. Let's move down to here, we should be fine. So still taking lots of losses to the elves. We can start moving across. I guess we should. Okay, so next round begins. These things are slowed. They can still pretty much go where they like. This time round, let's go for the Death Ripple. Dwarves do manage to resist. Can't really keep these safe, just gonna have to go for these I think. Should have probably just gone for the dragons, but never mind. These can't reach us, so let's just wait.
Okay, so first stack to move in I think should be the Dread Knights. We're just going to move these to safety. There is a chance we kill these off. Okay, we don't kill them off. We do curse them. And they are now safely in range of these. Then we send these in for sure. The rest of our units just move away. She does not have any spell points left, so this should be completely safe. She flees, okay, so she obviously took more losses than us, but I'm not sure how much that's really worth to us. Basic diplomacy is interesting. This is probably our strongest hero on paper, or at least was. But I'm going to say no for now. 23 skeletons for all that, I guess. I'm just hoping this leads to a town. Make that worthwhile. Okay, so still not sure what to do with the Evacious. I think Coronius. Obviously not strong enough to take any fights. I think we just go to the south. Let's do some scouting. Okay, so that's a dead end. So Taurusar can land and pick some things up. I think that probably does make sense. Uh, if we were to go to the north instead, maybe give the enchanter to Galthren. But if Galthren attacks the town, we will just lose that. If we land instead, we can still do some scouting. Yeah, I think I will land. Corks comes back for this stuff. Okay, so choice now is we could potentially do some trading. We could get rid of a lot of crystal. Then we get a lot back from our treasury, but I'm not sure we need to do that. It probably does make some sense. Just let 33 go. They've got 40 left, which is plenty. They'll have to decide what to do with Jeremy, so I think we want to try and hang on to Jeremy if we can. So we need to try and get him to safety. If I get in the ship, I will just be attacked, but I will at least have a chance to flee. Uh, I think we should go in this direction. If Cuthbert wants to attack us... We've only got basic wisdom, which is probably not good enough. Got some pretty good artifacts. Okay, we're gonna see what we can do. So if Cuthbert attacks us... We'll try casting some spells, it's not gonna go too well, but there's not really too much else we can try. If we go in this direction instead, he probably shouldn't chase us down. So we're gonna try that. Then going back to this base... Pretty much all done apart from the Dragon Cliffs. So we do need some more ore. Yeah, I think we resist the urge to build too much. In this town, perhaps. We can afford the upgraded Pool of Glory, but no need to go for it just yet. So it's been a bad turn, but we can at least see what Evasius can do. So I think we just throw these in. All kind of depends what spells he goes for. Let's just throw them in. Okay, goes for shield, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna send these in. I think one problem right now is we don't really have a good stack to... 
fetch your clone. Used to have better power stacks. So, 700 hit points to go, this should be fine. Doesn't go through to the cannon. Not sure why. Okay, let's kill these off. These guys I'm just gonna have defend. Ah, okay. Frustrating, so... That would force us technically to go for two resurrections, and wow, we're down to one genie. And I've not seen any other tower towns. Gonna resist the gold mine, and... Gonna just... Go west. There's gotta be a town. 100%. Okay, so we can see Blue's main base, let's at least take that. So we're getting... Getting a bit of a Cove Empire going. It is our starting town, so it feels... Kind of appropriate. Okay, let's bring back our final genie. Our last relic of the first few turns. Okay, we've taken the town. This is a pretty bad town. So, I think Blue could have been really good, but just kind of, just kind of never recovered from us taking their town. Alright, I need to find out where this monolith goes. I need to remind myself if I can. I don't think we know. Not somewhere we've been. Unless it's this. No. Okay, so Sorm is going to wait here to pick up a dragon next turn. Eovacious, let's have a look at the Mage Guild situation. It is level 4. Resurrection again. There is prayer. And we definitely want prayer. We want prayer and we want our spell points back, so I think we just stay here for now. What else could we do? We could go for Tower of the Seas, which is a bit expensive. Frigate is fairly cheap. So we still get 3,400 for free from the treasury. And we can pick someone up, so let's get Rion back. Let's pass this across. And let's pass some of this stuff across too, because we're not going to use it. Okay, so Shackles of War I should definitely make use of. Charm of Mana, we don't really care about. I might have enough for the wizard as well, but I'm not going to go out of my way. Ring of the Wayfarer is really good, but it does require giving up the... It does require giving up the Elixir of Life. And I'm not sure I really want to give this stuff to Rion because it's a bit too good. You can have some of this stuff. Equestrian's Gloves. I think we hang on to. I can't really be bothered with the, the micromanagement. Charm of Eclipse is pretty good. So, Golden Bow, not useful to us right now, but we should hang on to it just in case. Okay, let's see how that goes. So, Rion does have navigation. Okay, so there's Nimbus just there. Obviously, we don't have enough moving points to chase him down. So, let's just go in this direction. Should have taken some units. Okay. I don't like it, but... I think... We just have to accept it. Gonna be a bad turn. Okay, so red takes that. Red's already taken that base, of course. So we're losing towns, but we are gaining towns too. Red has quite a big empire, and blue throws himself into this, which suggests... I'm just going to accept that. Suggests blue, yeah, has no other options left. This turn is going to be bad. 
Yeah, they're sending even more across. They are throwing everything into this. And... Oh, I thought they might not attack it. No, they just go and claim it for free. Okay, fine. We're gonna have to go and get that back, but first, let's see if we can claim a town right now. I'm sure we can. There's gotta be one around. So, it looks like it's probably a rampart base. Can't really see too much from this. I imagine it's not to the west. I imagine it's not to the east. There we go. So, Darameth, some defenders. It's day one, it's a good time to steal this. Do we split our ghost dragons? I think we don't. I think we split the liches. Although, with Animate dead, that probably doesn't make sense. Let's go for the attack. Okay, there's someone else in the town. Torso of Legion. Let's actually check our artifacts. They're already using everything we can. Let's go for this. So in the town is Darkstone. I think we start off by... I think we just wait. Okay, implodes the skeletons. But he can only do that a couple of times. He's coming out to attack us. Okay, so 20 dendroids. Let's start by bringing some of these back. Then we can go for an attack, but of course we get stuck in place, but that's probably fine. Okay, we take some losses to that. So, 114 hit points to go. Let's try this. And let's wait. See what spell he goes for. Goes for slow. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's not too fine because it does mean we're stuck in place. Yeah, I could go for haste or something, but... Don't think we bother. So I can't go for anti-magic. I do want to try and protect the ghost dragons. I think we animate dead. Let me cross. Okay, he goes for that. This is five kills guaranteed, so we just go for... Animate dead once again. Kill these off. Fine. So, boots of speed. Angel feather arrows. Lots of okay artifacts. Ooh! Ooh, we're close. We are close. We need the boots. We're getting there, but we need the boots. Undead King. What's it called? Cloak of the Undead King. Stupidly powerful artifact. In my opinion, probably the most broken thing in the game. But, uh, probably not going to happen, to be fair. Uh, we could probably use this. Place this. Torso of Legion's not too bad. Uh, rest of this stuff. Nothing special. Okay, let's go in the town, and let's get our movement points back. We've got Town Portal. Okay. We're back in the game. We know what to do. We need to get that spell on as many heroes as possible. I was beginning to believe that it wasn't on the map. But, there it is. And, we can get extra gold dragons from this. Okay, so corks first. Let's grab this stuff. Let's start coming back. 
Cronius has to go through here for sure. Slightly curious to scout this out. I'm gonna go to Rion. And I should really claim this. Should also probably start digging. I think this was where they were going to go for next, so we'll try that. Della's going to go for Earth Magic. And let's pick this up. We can go for another Rust Dragon, which I guess we should. There is some stuff to the west. Okay, so Taurusar is just going to move in this direction, try and claim some stuff. Jeremy's going to pick up some Wood Elves. And start coming back. Solma takes the dragon, goes back to the base. We're going to go for Greater Dragon Cliffs. Okay, so we can't really afford too much. I've slightly overindulged on the Rust Dragon, I guess. Okay, so we've taken some pretty significant losses, but I think that's okay. There's a prison there, and it's unclaimed. So we definitely go for that. Okay, so Galthran is going to put the slower units in the town. Solmere. We could try and rush straight back, but he obviously can't reinforce. He's obviously much stronger than us. We should definitely stay put, just for now. So let's put everything except the gold dragons inside the town. Buy ourselves one more. And... I could put someone else in the town and do some more scouting, which... To be fair, would be fine, and probably would make sense. But I, I kind of don't want to end up with too many heroes. Because next turn we're going to go for the... well not next turn, turn after next we're going to go for the prison. Still, maybe we just go for it. Although Eovatius is still in this town. Yeah, we shouldn't hire anyone else. Okay, we go back to this. We probably don't gain too much from going west, although we could water walk across. That would be fine. So let's do that. Let's not worry too much about the fact we lost our town. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so let's go through this. Let's visit this. So yeah, it's definitely around there. Uh, we need to put someone else inside the town, so let's just put Solma in, that should be fine. Then let's open this up. See who we get. So it's Miriam, scouting specialist with a hundred rogues. That's... I mean, it's interesting because she obviously can see a long way, but that's not really... I mean, it's, it's good for a scout, I guess. But, I've seen better. So this spell could be really good, it's also the the angel, whatever they're called. Boots of Levitation. Gonna go for actually experience on this, because I want even more line of sight. I immediately regretted that choice. Okay, so 3,000 left to spend. This town is about as good as it can get. This town needs some more. Let's upgrade the frigate. And this town we should also keep building up, so stables we should go for at some point. I think until we see more of our towns threatened, we don't have to worry too much. Let's just end the turn there. So if Red wants to fight Tan, that's perfect. Red clearly has town portal. Tan is pretty close to our castle base. So we can defend our bases using Galthran, but Galthran can't really get any stronger. So I feel like Tan and Red are kind of setting up for a big war, and everyone else is kind of stuck. 
Okay, so Eovaceous, water walk across to this. We go west, we take the Hydra Pond, take the mansion, take the prison. Tome of Water Magic we don't actually need. I'm going to try digging. Nope. Okay. So Aislinn is kind of just to the north. That seems like a bit of a weird... Bit of a weird place. Doesn't seem to lead to too much. Let's take Miriam to this, and we're going to start going towards the base. Then Adela. Let's go for this, I'm sure it will tell us nothing, but still. Go for this next. And we'll move in this direction. We should get some more reinforcements, but money of course is pretty scarce at this point. Okay, so Coronius has a really good line of sight. Maybe we go back through. So we can see a bit more if we just keep jumping around. Still curious about the Inferno base, but it's not too important. I'm more curious about this. So this is not too far away. We could probably water walk across to this, and that obviously makes sense. Like, that's, that's so much more useful than just one extra prison, even if it's a very good prison. We need to go in this direction, for sure. Okay, so if we go for Water Walk, we can get across. We can go to the Unicorn Glade. I don't really care too much about taking on Aislinn. I think we should be fine. Let's go straight across to this. Take it out. I'm not going to bother recruiting. It's going to go west. Okay. That feels good, because Eovaceous is now going to get Town Portal. And even though it's not going to help us get this town back... It's a big step in the right direction, and it should mean we can preserve the towns we already have. So Arlac has stolen our units, including lots of Vampire Lords. Ingham is kind of nowhere. I think we let Tan and Red fight. I think that's fine. So Kingdom Army Strength, we are in the middle. I learned recently that apparently Kingdom Army Strength doesn't take into account your garrisons. But still pretty useful to look at, of course. Income situation is nothing special. We have the most obelisks, so we should be able to get the Grail. That should be a thing we can do. Uh, Aislinn is the strongest green hero. So Aislinn and Purple, possibly both of them lost all their towns. So it's going to be a big showdown between myself, Tan, and Red. Coronius. I'd love the Ezra Dragon, but I think we need Town Portal first. I'm going to scout this way. Okay, so that tells us a bit more. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, Tan's lands. There's purple. That's their strongest. See, so yeah, they clearly don't have a town. Okay, we need to tuck someone into a town, so let's just throw corks in. And get basic navigation from this. Then we go back to this, we're going to go out. And let's just go in this direction. So is this just a dead end? There is a lighthouse there, which is probably worth going to. There's a Pandora's box, head of Legion. We probably have enough for the Statue of Legion. Okay, Crystal Cave. I think we can go for that. Yeah, I'm not going to split my stacks. Maybe one skeleton, perhaps. Okay, so some loss is expected. They are going to go straight for the skeletons. That's probably fine. We wait with these. Throw these in. Skeletons go for the attack. Should have really used this stack, but in mind. We'll move these up. These guys are blocked. 
Throw these in for the attack, these move next, they finish off our skeletons. So we bring those back. And we wait. And we attack. And wait. And attack. And defend. And these wait, these throw out the retaliation. These go in. And still no kill. But we still need to get more skeletons back because the animate dead didn't get all of them. Okay, so most of the skeletons have come back. Go for this attack, we should be able to take the retaliation. Then we go for this. Then we go for this. Zero to one kills. Pretty sure we've lost a few skeletons, but maybe we just chance it. No, there's no chance. There's no chance that works. Yep. Okay, so this will be the end. So we go for animate dead. Finish them off. And I'm not sure I even want the crystal dragon, but it's still useful just to deny it to everyone else. We actually raised the crystal dragon as a skeleton, which is kind of funny. So we can afford to buy it if we want to. We can buy it, we can town portal back somewhere. I guess we should. So Thorgrim is in fact stuck on an island. Pretty sure we have water walk. No we don't, okay. So we can kind of teleport around and get that if we want to. Gonna go for this and gonna explore up in this direction which seems to be kind of unclaimed. Would have preferred some gold. Okay, three demons horseshoe, hydro pond, and then there's all this stuff. So we need a much stronger hero. Okay, so I guess we bring these two together, swap them around. Okay, so Solmere definitely doesn't go up in this direction, we need to stay put. So we should try and find something useful to do in the meantime. We've already got as many spell points as possible. We could get in the ship. And we could go aggressive. But I don't want to lose out on the gold dragons. Fastest way of getting to this town, which is now really important. Maybe the blue two-way portal does make sense. Other thing that makes sense is Coronius as basic scholar. But if we can get him up to expert scholar, he can start passing town portal around. But that's much easier said than done. To the point where it might be easier just to throw Solmer in. So, absolute worst case scenario, if they come to attack the Rampart base, we simply Town Portal Galthran back to that base. And see what we can do. But, they did go up in this direction with their strongest hero, so that should be okay. By the time they reach it, Eovatius should have Town Portal. So he can go in instead. So yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good to go for this. Then we've got a thousand more we can spend. This town does need some defenders, I think. Miriam, I think, should be digging. Let's just go for a blacksmith. Okay. Okay, so red is coming for us instead of tan, which is very annoying and very typical. Okay, so they're very close to breaking through, which does take them to this part of the map. Yeah, they're attacking kind of in my direction. I'd really prefer them not to. They should be attacking each other. Okay, that's more like it. A little bit defensive. Okay, grab the Demon's Horseshoe, grab all of this stuff. 3,500 gold, this is guarded by dendroids. Plus one defense, and throng of dwarves, which we're not strong enough for, so that's not coming back. Okay, so Solmir has tons of movement points. Let's go through to this. Let's see what red has. So it's Steig, and Steig is not strong at all, but strong enough to cause us some problems. Eovatius, I'm guessing, can go far enough. 
I'm not going to pass this up. I will go for it. Get some more attack. And we can still get through. So this is going to take 1,200 movement points. If we go for this, I'm not sure we can quite make it. But I guess it doesn't really matter. No, we can make it. Okay. So, Eovatius now has Town Portal and Chain Lightning. I need to remind myself who actually has this guy. Torasar has the Orb of the Firmament. So, we actually want Torasar to meet up with Zolmere pretty soon. This town is going to be under threat soon from Spint. So, Spint is the strongest of Red, and Ingham is the strongest of Tan. Oh, they bought the cover of darkness. That's so annoying. I was wondering where my town was. Um, okay. I can still see around my estate, but that's not too useful. So that's now going to be all the harder to attack. I think it has to be Eovacious who does that. I do want to take this town back. Dima, I think I could beat. I need more units. I need to reinforce this more. I think we go out of our way for town portal. I think we go up in this direction. Let's just check with Coronius. Yeah, so there is a way through, of course. Coronius actually can't take on Thorgrim, so let's pull back. There's Tan's base. Okay, we'll go for basic logistics. We should be prepared to be attacked by Steig. I'm gonna send... I'm gonna send Rion up in this direction. Could I reinforce this? To the point where it can defend itself. It does have a castle. It does have some necks. Gunpowder Warehouse for a chance of killing off the dragons with accurate shot, I think is a bit too much to hope for. I think we go for Tower of the Seas. Maybe into the Maelstrom, which would be very map appropriate, of course. Yeah, let's go for the Tower of the Seas. Red can't reach us just yet. Miriam goes for this, grabs some nymphs. Goes into the town. Pay and continue research, end the research for free, summon boat. I mean, yeah, sure. We're meaning to do that in this town too. <laughs> uh, end the research, protection from water, sure. Took me long enough. Okay, so if this town does get attacked, I'm pretty sure we will have at least one turn's warning. So we don't need to go back with Galthran just yet. Let's go for this. And this is going to lead us towards all this stuff. Let's take our chances. Swarm of trolls. We've got our vampires, so that's fine. Yeah, 402 trolls. This is good for our necromancy, of course. Okay, that's that could actually reach us. to avoid these. Do we have Resurrection? No, we don't. So this is not the right guy. Not the right guy for Crystal Dragons. So 20% chance to resist a hostile spell, so that shouldn't apply to Resurrection. And they do give us extra Crystal too, which is nice. Should have blinded the top stack instead as well. Okay, so maybe we just focus all of these units on that top stack of 80. Okay, so this stack is going to wait. Then this stack needs to just kind of throw itself in. Yeah, not too much we can do. These guys are just a bit too close. So I think let's go for these.
Okay, so the Vampire Lords being Vampire Lords are going to be completely fine on that side. I think we can already tell. Let's go for this. Then we pull back. These go for these. Animate did on this stack, and we're just going to pull these back. That's probably fine. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. I've got my army's not entirely undead. Almost, though. I always forget stuff like that. Just kind of have it in my head. Undead armies and non-undead. Okay, so we aged them. That's those pretty much dead. And vampires should handle everything on that side. There is a slight chance they get overwhelmed. But I think they're okay. Yep, so up to 77. So if we perhaps blind this stack, that's probably better than going with another animate dead. Saves us two spell points. Okay, so these guys, 184 hit points, this should be a safe hit and run, let's just do it. Then we wake these up. And let's go for this. Just trying to speed this up, because I know I could vampire cheese it, but no, that doesn't work out because we do take a loss. Ah, we take two losses, okay, fine. Fine. Wrong choice, trying to save time. Let's just come back. Bring these back too. We should find a well. Pretty much all towns have at least one well outside. Just wake these up. Okay, back up to 80, and that is pretty much the end of that fight. Still have 91 spell points if we need them. There we go, no losses. 16,000 XP. Choice between water magic and ballistics. Let's go for water magic. 90 skeletons. Lots of resources, which I keep forgetting that's a thing, but that's always useful to have. Orb of Driving Rain will go well with our Newly acquired skill. Requires us to fight a throng of behemoths. I'm not sure about that one. So I think the town is up to the right. Curious what's to the left. But let's go right. I think we go towards this too. Okay, so Solmere definitely wants to go and land right here, I think. Almost. Can't quite do it. If we were to take on the Master Genies, gets us to a tavern, which we don't really care about. If we were to go for this base, it probably could be done. We know that Tan's strongest hero is not around, but they might have Town Portal. But no, let's stay focused on our goal. We can just go around this way instead and land right there. Shouldn't have done that. Wasn't meant to do that. There's a Seer's Hut there, which would be good to go for at some point. Eovacious can come back and defend the Cove Town if he needs to. He can come back and defend this town if he needs to. Let's go through this. Let's see where this goes, which it leads to. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember now. I've seen this before. I can claim this. And I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to be able to, but I will. So, plus three knowledge, plus three spell power. Back through to this. And we can go back to the base. We should go to the stables, of course. And I think we grab this. 
Okay. So I think we have done enough for this part. We've got Town Portal on two of our best heroes, and we still have plenty of really strong opponents to take on. Including Tan, who thanks to the cover of Darkness is now a bit of an unknown quantity. Have to take this space back too. So lots to be done, but we're going to end the episode there. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.